Hi there. I've had a lot of people ask me how I wash my hair and face, and I thought I'd, I'd show you how I do it. Let's see. To get started, these are the things I need. A bag of warm water, a little no-rinse shampoo, towel, and my comb. What I like to do is start by just putting some hot water, squirting it onto my scalp. And I have a mirror here so I can kind of watch what I'm doing. Sometimes the water gets away from you and you try and catch as much as you can. Then I just work the water up through to the ends of my hair. And I take my no rinse shampoo and squirt it also on the scalp, just a little bit, and rub it in. Again, kind of working it out to the ends. And sometimes I'll actually take my comb to help work it all the way to the ends. And I like to take my towel while I have the shampoo in there and just kind of work it. Because without standing under running water, you kind of need to use the towel a little bit to help get some of the dirt out. I like to follow that by a little more water. It's called no rinse shampoo, but I think it's best if you use a little water with it. It actually feels kind of squeaky clean right now. Now I'll take the dry part of my towel we use towels for quite a while here, since we have limited supplies. We use them wisely. Okay. I think that's pretty good. And now as my hair dries, as the water evaporates from my hair, uh, it will uh, become humidity in the air, and then our air conditioning system will collect uh, that into condensate, and it won't be long, and our water processing system will turn that into drinking water. At the end, I just do one final comb through to make sure there are no snarls and snags. And while it dries, I like to uh, let it stay, stay free. I don't put it back in a ponytail while it's drying. And that is how I wash my hair in space on the International Space Station. What would happen if you wrung out a cloth in space? And it's packed it. It's put down into this little tiny hockey puck so that uh, it saves space. But when you open up a hockey puck and you pull out your washcloth, this is the one I'm going to use for the experiment today. And so when you open up your hockey puck and turn it into a washcloth, it was compressed in a great big vise somewhere. OK, so here's my washcloth, like a magic trick. And now I'm going to get this soaking wet, and then we're going to see what will happen when we wring it out. Meredith and Kendra suggested that I dip this in a bag, but bags don't hold water in space. So instead, I filled a water bag. This has drinking water in it. And I'm going to uh, squirt a bunch of water into this washcloth. Okay, so here's a soaking wet washcloth. Get the microphone so you can hear me while I'm talking. And now let's, let's start wringing it out. It's really wet. tube of water. The water is all over my hands, in fact. It rings out of the cloth into my hands. And if I let go of the cloth carefully, the water sort of has it stick to my hand. Okay, so the experiment worked beautifully. And the answer to the question is, the water squeezes out of the cloth, and then because of the surface tension of the water, it um, it actually runs along the surface of the cloth and then up into my hand, 
almost like you had jello on your hands or gel on your hand and it'll just stay there wonderful moisturizer on my hands and the cloth doesn't really unravel itself it just how do astronauts eat and drink in space i've already had lunch so uh let's have dessert let's see i chose um chocolate pudding cake so the way you prepare it is you push all the cake down out of one end carefully cut it open away from the velcro because you want to keep your velcro for sticking it to the wall then grab your long spoon because it's a long container reach inside chocolate pudding cake looks like it too not bad it's gonna be hard to eat be messy. Mm, pretty good. Mm -mm. That'd be good with coffee. Here's a cup of coffee. Stick my straw in. Mix it up. Carefully open the straw in the mouth. Mm. Hot. Put coffee. Chocolate cake and coffee. Food's not so bad. С водой в условиях невесомости, особенно во время помывки, после спортивных занятий, потому что все это именно вот так вот разлетается, как вы только что видели. Вот у нас лимонад. Вот эта капля, она сейчас станет идеальной сферой, когда возмущение успокоится. И там внутри вкрапление воздуха. Я даже уйду со сцены, чтобы все это видели крупным планом. Ну а сейчас разрешите мне все-таки выпить это дело, потому что, как вот перед ораторами ставят стаканчик водички, я тоже у меня в глотке пересохло, потому что... Я испытываю волнение перед столь почтенной аудиторией. Я позволю себе это сделать.